Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Now, this is another video of my theories in which I show you how you can use Flying Upload for each of the different marketplaces which Flying Upload, the print-on-demand upload automation, support. Today I'd like to show you how it works for Redbubble. So far I showed you how it works with Spreadshirt, Sazzle and was it Fine Art America, I think. And today we are going to do Redbubble. Now, Redbubble, I think, is the first website, um, no, I Spreadshirt as well, where you needed to create a template. So I'm going to show you how you can create a template in Redbubble. So you need this template for Flying Upload so that Flying Upload knows which design it can use as, well, let's say as standard design from which then, depending on how you scale the design out, I mean, how you size it and how you position it, Flying Upload will then use it on every other design that you're going to upload with Flying Upload as um, reference. So let's say you position a certain design, let's say at the upper end of the um, printing area, then Flying Upload will do the same for every design that you upload. Um, yeah, you can always change the template or the reference template, but um, yeah, if you have it, if you define it once, you can keep it forever, really. And the only thing I need to tell you is that the recommendation then is that as a reference, for example, you use a design 4500 by 5400, and you should then also in the future, whenever you use Flying Upload, only upload. 4,500 by 5,400 designs. Now, when you then decide to upload a different size, let's say 4,000 by 4,000, I would recommend that for this size then, you create a different template. So that in effect, for every design size that you have and upload, you have a different template. Hope that makes sense, but ideally you only have one size. I mean, it just makes it easier. So I always use 4,500 by 5,400, basically because it relates to Amazon Merge. Now, the ideal size to upload to Redbubble is a different one. And um, I don't know which one it is, to be honest, but um, it's a different size. With that size, then you don't get these ugly um, corners or blank edges on greeting cards, I believe. But I believe that is the only difference. I think for every other product it works well and we're going to have a look how it how it works. First step is I'm going to upload new work and I go I, I do this manually. You only need to do it once when you use flying upload. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload a design. I'm going to upload a design which I've used before in all the other tutorials um, to show you. I think it was the Spreadshirt tutorial. Uh, and I only use this for the purpose of this video. So I downloaded that from Creative Fabrica. Just use it as it is, which you can do. Um, and I've uploaded it now. And what I'm going to do now is just really fill all the information out here. So just to keep it easy, really. Um, Right, so I just put some keywords in the title as well, tags. Uh, I'm not going to do some proper tagging or keyword research here. This is really just for this video to show you how you can create a template. I recommend you always do keyword research. Now, in my other videos, I've showed you a few ways to do it. There are free ways, but there are also you um, like more, let's say more complex research tools like the Merge Informer offline research. But um, yeah, generally free keyword research tools are fine as well. I'm only going to use five now. Normally I would use more, but because we're doing a video here, I won't um, make this too long. Okay, so in this design, I would normally, it's up to you. You can now create a template for a, let's say a white background and the dark background would be a separate template. Now to make it easy, I always only use 
um, the darkest um, the darkest color here so basically black I generally I only create for um, black backgrounds which is just personal preference really I believe the dark backgrounds um, dark t-shirts black t-shirts they sell much better and you're going to create this template based on that and bear in mind whatever you select here now in this template flying upload will just copy it um, whenever you, you upload then with flying upload now what you want to bear in mind is that for example this design you can see it very well and um, you can see that it really that it has really been designed you know to the edges of the actual design so there isn't really much space at the edges um, so you just want to take this into consideration uh, when you when you size it um, so I normally keep it centered I don't normally max it out so it you know it sits at the edges of the printing area because then should you then maybe um, maybe upload something which is slightly larger then you will struggle then it would look like this where it goes beyond the edges and you can't read it so make it a bit smaller this is large enough still anyway um, and then I center it horizontally vertically yeah that should be fine I'm happy with that just double checking it for all of them I recommend you double just double check it for all of them how it looks um, just so that you're happy with it as well but that, that is fine now let's do the next one here and sorry it's, it will be maybe a bit boring now because I'm going to size them all here but um, but you know it's just it's just necessary to do it you know this could even be a bit larger maybe Now this one here I, found, I always found very difficult. I mean, it's what, you know, who, who's gonna wear that, you know, like um, with such a design really? I mean, with these, I, I, I was always unsure, you know, do I move it down a little bit? Because, you know, maybe like that, maybe even down a little bit more. I'm not 100% I'm not I'm not sure with these um, sleeveless tops, to be honest. Let me know what you think looks best on these sleeveless ones. If you should have it rather lower or higher. I'm not 100% sure. So center it again. Happy with that for now. And you know, maybe I will um, cut this video off now because I don't really want to take you through this boring process of positioning them all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to position them all now and then I will um, see you when I've, when I've finalized it. I'm going to show them all to you and then we're going to upload a design with Flying Upload to show you how the um, upload automation works. Okay, so I've now positioned them all and sized them accordingly for every product. This also shows that the 4500 by 5400 design basically works for everything. I think it's only the greeting cards where you get a um, basically a blank or white or black um, edge on both sides. Um, but everything else works quite well. It also shows that, for example, here on the shower curtains, it works. And um, this is one thing I always recommend that when you sell a mug that you position it like that, not centrally, but so that it is visible when someone holds it in their hand. Now, actually thinking about it, that would be for someone who's left-handed. It depends. I mean, it depends what you want. If you're left-handed and you hold it like that, you will see it. Um, if you're right-handed, you hold it like that, someone else will see it. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that people can actually see it because if you center it, it will just not really look great on the thumbnail. So you want to make sure that you um, position it at one of the sides, left or right. But yeah, this is pretty much the template. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this now. 
One um, tip from me is that I always, um, I always, do, 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 default product in your shop. And I always select t-shirt because this means in my shop on every thumbnail, you will see um, the t-shirt. You will see the design on t-shirt, on a t-shirt, not, not mixed. Sometimes it doesn't look good. All right, so I'm going to save the work now. Okay, so this has now been saved. So we will go now in Flying Upload and I'm going to show you how you can add this as a template now. All right, and when we're in the settings from um, Flying Upload in the settings, then you go to Templates and Red Bubble, And there you can see that you can add a default um, template here. Now, how do you get the link? This is actually a link from the website. So how do you get that? Now we go back to Redbubble. We go to copy an existing work. You're going to select the one that we've just uploaded and you click on copy settings. And then here at the top, you can see the link and you can see that it's the right link if it has a duplicate at the end. And we are going to copy the entire link. And we're going to copy the entire link. And we're going to paste the link into Redbubble, uh, into Flying Upload, here and here. And then we click Save. And now we can start an upload process. Okay, and I'm going to show you this one, which I think I used um, to show you the Zazzle upload process. And it's important to check that if this one is also 4,500 by 5,400, and it is. So all I'm going to do now is just start the upload process. Going to upload and then start the upload process in Redbubble, in Flying Upload. Okay, we can see now it has already finished the upload process. And let's go into Redbubble and have a look how it looks. Okay, there you go. There you can see it on the hoodie. We can also try the other articles, how it looks, as you can see here. It's on the t-shirt. 
I think it's positioned it quite well. I mean, it's done it. I mean, here you can see it wasn't actually, um, the type of design doesn't really look good on a sticker. And that is because the sticker is white and some of the text is white as well. But there you go, that's what it is. Um, yeah, so there you can see, I mean, this one here, you could then actually go back into your template and potentially position this one a little bit higher. Because I think on this t-shirt here, the design is a bit too low. Now that all depends on your template. You can now adjust your template and say, okay, if you don't like it, you might actually have it a bit higher. So all designs sit a little bit higher on this particular product. But besides that, I think it looks really good. Like on this, um, what they call active t-shirt. Looks really good, I think. Again, could maybe really be a little bit higher, but that all depends on your template. So just go back then, adjust your template. That's easy to do. No need to put a new link then into Flying Upload because if you just edit that template that you already have, the link will stay the same. So I hope this video was useful if you use Flying Upload and upload to um, Redbubble. If you liked the video, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.